Kathleen, what you working on? I am roasting up some frozen veggies because who wants to put them in the microwave and have them come out all soggy and nasty? So, you, you do that? Yes, Why? I do that. So that we have lovely roasted vegetables as a side and we don't have to buy fresh ones. So you just get the frozen ones, you dump them out, put some olive oil on it. And I do uh, Montreal steak seasoning because I don't want to just pour out all the garlic and onion and salt and pepper, like everything's all right there for me. Save me a little bit of time and it tastes like steak anyway. And I got the oven preheated 475 cause that's what I do. It's a lot quicker for us with this gas oven. And we're just gonna flop that in and it takes about 30 minutes, but I'm gonna rush it to like 20 cause I'm hungry. What are you making? And in here, I've got some chickpeas. I know they look kind of sad and gross, but we're gonna fry them up with some buffalo sauce Ooh. and garlic powder. So you're gonna you dress them up. Yep, you gotta dress them up and take them out to dinner with a side of bread. And um, we're gonna make buffalo chickpea sandwiches. And I can do this up so that they get nice and spicy. So we just got some regular old wing sauce. So would you say this is a fairly vegetarian yes. dish you're making? This is a vegetarian dish that I'm making. It's super easy because it's literally just these three ingredients. And I'm gonna let it cook a little while so that the flavors can uh, get saturated in the chickpeas. And I misjudged my time. So I put them on a little too soon, but that's fine. And we got garlic powder and everything is going to be to taste. If you don't like a lot of buffalo sauce, then don't do a lot of buffalo sauce. If you don't like any buffalo sauce, I'm sure you could do this with um, barbecue or um, maybe like a, a soy sauce or even sriracha would be really good. Mm. Two different varieties and you're just going to stir it up and let them hang out in the pan. And bada bing, bada bang, we, you got something. You got buffalo chickpeas. And this doesn't have to be on a sandwich. You can put this as your salad topper. I do that a lot of times. Um, you just do like some greens and onions and tomatoes and carrots and put that on your salad. And maybe if you want some blue cheese or ranch dressing. Um, I know blue cheese is a hot topic for a lot of people and they're like, ugh, I hate that, it's nasty, it smells like old gym socks, but you know, he takes a special person to eat blue cheese and I will eat that. Um, so yeah, you can do it up however you want. Uh, it's just a great, quick, freaking easy alternative if you forgot to take something out of the freezer like this girl did and uh, we wanted to use up some of that honey bread, the honey oat bread that we made yesterday. We're just gonna make some sandwiches and have a lovely, healthy dinner that's super quick and simple. Simple is what I like to do uh, when I forget something like this and I'm hungry, so. And Bumping. it's very filling. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for someone who used to absolutely despise chickpeas, this recipe will definitely change your mind. <laughs> it is a great alternative to like, um, any type of like meat based uh, sandwich and it'll fill you up and it has not all the nutrients but it has quite a few nutrients for you um, if you you could probably mix some kind of bean with it if you wanted to get like the full amino acid profile that that you have to have without having to take any vitamins or or anything like that I'm sure you can mash these up too if you wanted to make it kind of like a paste because I know that there are chickpea salads that are done up like egg salads as a vegan alternative I and mean, sometimes they're mashed together to make that kind of pastier consistency if you want that. Um, we just leave these chickpeas whole and dive right into a sandwich and be a little bit adventurous. It's kind of fun to make a mess once in a while. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching this this little segment and maybe we'll have a sandwich at the end and you get to see what it looks like for the final product.
So we're gonna make our sandwiches now. We got our bread in the oven that I sliced up. And that's what it looks like because the actual reason why we use the oven is we never really had a lot of counter space and we very rarely eat bread. This is one of the few times that we will. So that's why we use that toast. So this is the bread we made yesterday. We got it all nice and toasty in here. And bring these bad boys on over too. One of those, and I'll take one small one. And we're gonna take out our broccoli now. Always turn off the oven. And we got some chopped lettuce. That's what we bought this week. So you're gonna put on some lettuce if you want. Any other toppings? Ooh, carrots. Or no. Mm. Yeah, carrots. Alright. You can do onions too if you want. You could also put this in a wrap. If you prefer wraps. Um, might be easier to eat the whole chickpeas that way. May not be. I don't know. So, there we are. Take a few. And try our darndest to get this on here. Don't be afraid to use your hands. And if you get some that fall off, well, you know what? They're all just going to fall off eventually. And you know what? For good measure, I'm just going to toss them on the side because I want a whole bunch. And there you have it. <gasps> Buffalo chickpea sandwich. And you got your, fried, your roasted veggies here. And... These were in the oven for about half an hour, maybe. And at that 475, they're going to come out nice and toasty. But you can also do it at like 450, whatever floats your boat. But like this meal, you got to like it, you got to subscribe, and you got to ring the bell for notifications because that's what you do. So, uh, Enjoy, mm, oh my gosh, enjoy these little bad boys. They're super tasty, and see you next time. All right, so everything's gonna be chopped. Oh, am I filming? You're a... <laughs> <laughs>